From ancient magical glass to fire we still can't replicate, here are 13 amazingly advanced ancient technologies. Thirteen, The Lycurgus Cup Dichroic glass is a material that can display two different colors when certain lighting conditions trigger a color change. This 4th century Roman goblet displays a red color when it's lit from behind. When it's lit from the front, the color changes to green. To date, it's the only Roman glass object made from this type of glass that has been found complete. It also serves as a rare example of a Roman cage cup. The glass has been laboriously cut and ground to leave a cage that features the mythical King Lycurgus flanked by other figures. Experts say the optical effect results from gold and silver flecks fused in the glass that are about 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. The makers of the ancient cup were essentially using nanoparticles of the minerals in specific proportions to achieve the spectacular result, but their exact process still remains a mystery. 12. Yak Chows while it's easy to think of this as an ancient refrigerator, a better description might be an evaporative cooler that dates to 400 BC. The word yakchal translates as ice pit. Persian engineers had figured out a way to use these cone-shaped structures to make ice in the winter and then store it during the summer. Walls of the structure were made of a unique mortar that is thought to be completely waterproof and provided year-round insulation. These domes could rise some 60 feet 18 meters above ground, but there was also a large space underground with a volume of 180,000 cubic feet 5, cubic meters. Ice stored in the dome was used throughout the year to preserve food or make traditional frozen desserts. This ancient technology was mainly used in Persia, or what is now Iran. Many of the domes built in the past are still standing and are functional today. 11. Greek Fire The Byzantine Empire was the most powerful economic, military, and cultural force in Europe throughout most of its existence. Founded in Byzantium, which later became Constantinople, and then Istanbul, the Byzantine Empire is also known as the Eastern Roman Empire. It outlived the fall of the Western Roman Empire by 1,000 years. During the first Arab siege of Constantinople in the late 7th century, the Greek-speaking Byzantines invented a weapon called Greek fire. It was a highly flammable liquid launched from tubes mounted on Greek ships, with deadly consequences to the Arab fleet attacking Constantinople. It was a very effective weapon since all ships were made of wood and would easily go up in flames. Plus, I'm sure they weren't really expecting it. The longevity of the Byzantine Empire has been attributed to the deadliness of their Greek fire, especially in marine combat. Following its first ever use in 673, Greek fire was employed effectively against an Arab attack in 717 and against a Russian fleet during the 10th century. To this day, nobody knows exactly what Greek fire was made of. It stuck to surfaces, burned on water, and was extinguishable only by sand, vinegar, or old urine. Attempts to replicate the mixture have failed to be able to do all this. A variety of lesser formulas have been mislabeled as Greek fire, but the composition of the real thing was a closely guarded secret, like the Coca-Cola recipe. When the liquid and the machine that launched it was captured by enemy forces, they still couldn't figure out what it was made of. Historians believe it was a heated and pressurized petroleum-based mixture, but we still don't know for sure how the heck they made it. 10. The Water Screw this innovation is more popularly known as Archimedes' screw, named for the Greek mathematician and engineer. But he wasn't the actual inventor. It was used in ancient Egypt prior to the 3rd century BC, which was well before his time. The water screw was mainly used for irrigation, and consists of a hollow pipe inside of which is a screw. In ancient times, it was operated by hand, and caused the shaft to turn. The bottom end of the machine draws water inside, pushing it up until it pours from the top of the tube. The basic technology is still used today in a variety of capacities, including sewage treatment plants, grain elevators, and fish hatcheries. In 2001, an Archimedes screw was even used in a successful effort to stabilize the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 9. Viking Sunstones the Norsemen are famous for their long-distance voyages, but how did they manage to maintain their sense of direction at sea? Norse sagas mention mysterious artifacts known as sunstones. They are mentioned as navigational tools that could locate the sun in a completely cloudy sky. 
These objects weren't considered to be factual because many of the texts that mention them were allegories, but an archaeological discovery made in 2013 may cause a reassessment of that theory. Within the wreck of a 16th century warship in the European Channel Islands was found an Iceland spar or transparent crystal. It matches the description of the sunstone and was found near the sunken ship's navigational equipment. That suggests the crew may have used it for such a purpose and lends credence to the idea that the Vikings could have used the crystals as a navigational compass. 8. Advanced Ancient Sound Technology The Hal Safliani Hypogeum is one of Malta's most popular tourist destinations. It dates to around 3300 BC and it contains more than 7,000 human remains so far unearthed. Archaeologists say the location was probably used as a necropolis, or as a sanctuary, but it has also become known for possessing some unique acoustic properties as well. There are three levels that were constructed below ground, along with a myriad of interconnected halls and chambers. The middle level contains a chamber called the Oracle Room. It's one of the smallest side chambers, but it has become known for generating some unusual aural properties. Any noise or sound generated here is magnified many times over and can be heard throughout the structure. In some areas of the hypogeum, certain frequencies or pitches will resonate not only in the ears but in the bones and tissues as well. The effect was likely meant to add gravitas to the oracle's words, but it's still unknown how the ancient engineers created these advanced sound effects. 7. Baghdad Battery in 1938, these artifacts were excavated in a village near Baghdad. Unusual pots made from terracotta each had an iron rod and a copper cylinder contained within them. Researchers at the time theorized that the objects could have been created as long ago as 250 BC, and that when assembled, the pot may have served as an electrochemical cell. If the pots were filled with wine or grape juice, an electrical current could have been created between the iron and copper electrodes, and that could result in a primitive type of battery. Over the years, a lot of debate has arisen concerning whether or not these objects actually functioned as such. Some extreme speculation have involved the alleged battery having some sort of extraterrestrial connection. Theories that are more earthbound submit that the pots were used for protecting sacred writings from the elements. 6. Damascus Steel the legendary metal is named for the ancient city of Syria, but it wasn't necessarily created there in ancient times. Historians think the name refers more to swords that were crafted or sold in Damascus. Crusaders took notice of these swords in the 11th century and spread the story of fearsome blades that stayed sharp for battle after battle. Modern experts say that the metal was forged from steel ingots that were transported from southern India to the Near East where the blades were manufactured. The swords typically displayed distinctive banding and patterning that resembles flowing water. The tough steel swords resisted shattering and their edges could be honed to a keen sharpness. Over time, the original formula for producing Damascus steel was lost. By the mid-18th century, production of the blades had essentially ceased as firearms were increasingly replaced by swords. Since then, many attempts in modern times have been made to recreate the metal, but key differences in manufacturing techniques and available raw materials have resulted in only limited success. 5. The Iron Pillar of Delhi Suppose we told you that there was a metal that could resist rusting for more than a millennia. It sounds like a wild claim, yet you can find an example of such at the Kutub complex in Delhi, India. Standing 23 feet and 8 inches high meters, is a metal pillar that weighs some 7,000 pounds. Some sources claim that weight exceeds 13,200 pounds. It was thought to be constructed by a historical figure named King Chandra around 400 AD. Going on more than 1600 years later, this pillar exhibits only a minimal amount of corrosion. Its high degree of resistance has been linked to a high amount of phosphorus in its composition, which has shielded it from the elements. In a sense, it kinda sounds like a form of ancient undercoating with an endless warranty. 4. Roman Concrete have you ever noticed how modern concrete buildings seem to fall apart faster than buildings that remained intact for thousands of years? The Western Roman Empire crumbled around 476 AD, yet many of its most impressive structures like the Parthenon are still standing. Roman concrete made all the difference. Its durability is traced to a form of volcanic ash that prevents cracks from expanding or spreading. It also has a degree of flexibility that has allowed many ancient buildings to resist seismic events over the ages. Some Roman concrete was durable enough to set underwater, which aided in constructing bridges. Historians know that the material was in widespread use since around 150 BC, but it could have been created long before that. 
While the ingredients are known, the concrete's precise mixture and production methods are still unknown. Even so, many countries are studying it today due to its longevity and minimal environmental footprint. 3. Yalapil the first commercially successful steam engine that provided continuous power was built in 1712. Later refinements were made, and by the 19th century stationary steam engines were powering factories, locomotives, and sailing ships. But this was not a new idea. In fact, the first known steam engine was created in the first century AD by the renowned inventor Huron of Alexandria. A steam-powered device called an eolipile predated the Industrial Revolution by almost 2,000 years, and there were earlier mentions of steam-powered devices by Roman inventors during the first century BC. It's unknown whether Huron's device, also known as Hero's engine, was ever used for practical purposes in ancient times, but many historians theorized the early steam engine would have been capable of performing useful work. 2. Retro Robots Humanoid robots are becoming a fact of our everyday lives, and if you watch shows like Westworld, it's easy to imagine them as advanced androids with individual sentience. But the history of robotics, or mechanical automata, can be traced back to at least the 10th century BC in China. One of the first verifiable automatons was designed by Leonardo da Vinci in the late 15th century. While there is no record of da Vinci's robot actually being constructed, it is regarded as one of the first recorded plans for a humanoid automaton. The design, along with notes in da Vinci's sketchbook, were rediscovered in the 1950s. They detailed a machine that resembled a medieval knight that could stand, sit, raise its visor, wave its arms, and even move its head and jaw. The robot was later constructed faithfully from da Vinci's sketchbooks, and it proved to be entirely functional. 1. The Antikythera Mechanism you might think of computers as a technology that was developed in the 20th century, but the first programmable analog computer was actually invented in 1206 in Turkey. But the Antikythera mechanism actually predated that one, when it was discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera Island in 1901. It resembled a heap of fused metal. It was later found to be a type of analog computer that may have been created by Greek scientists in the 3rd century BC. There was a complex clockwork mechanism that contained at least 30 meshing gears made of bronze and functioned as an orrery, or a mechanical model of the solar system. The ancient device was most likely used for computing the movements of planets and stars for calendrical and astronomical purposes. Machines with a similar complexity wouldn't show up until mechanical astronomical clocks were developed in Europe in the 14th century. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell. See you next time.